Wait a minute, Project 2025 is only a think tank? I feel so silly. And I bet there are a lot of smart people there, aren't there? And I bet they were smart enough to call out Trump's hypocrisy. For years, he's been calling our election corrupt. And now all of a sudden, he's for mail-in ballots. Go figure. And how about his repeated call for violence? Certainly, smart people aren't for that, are they? And what about him wanting to bring back mental institutions? Have you read about how horrific those used to be? Horrifying how easy it was to put people in there. Certainly, a think tank would oppose that. And what does that think tank think about these Republicans who blocked a bill to protect access to contraception? Or how the right to birth control can be completely annihilated? But if this is a think tank, certainly Project 2025 will come out opposed to that, right? Or how about this little gem? Did you see this news from the Southern Baptist Convention, the largest Christian denomination in the United States? Because not only do they think IVF needs to be regulated, they think it needs to be eradicated. And that's right out of the Heritage Foundation playbook. And why is that important? Because the Heritage Foundation is the think tank behind Project 2025. And what does the think tank think about these Ten Commandments being reinstated into public schools? Or how about this Virginia school district that restored all the Confederate names of their schools? Here's an interesting fact. Do you know when those schools were named in honor of Confederate generals? In the 50s and 60s. Do you know why? It was in direct opposition to desegregation. Imagine that. I would think that a think tank would want to know that. Or how about this map from the ACLU.org that tracks the anti-LGBTQIA bills across the United States, currently tracking over 500? Or how about Mike Braun? Here's what he said in 2022 when he was a senator. He said that SCOTUS should not have ruled on interracial marriage, that it should be left up to each individual state. Interracial marriage wasn't made legal until 1967. I was six years old. We are not talking about ancient history. Mike Braun wants that returned to the state to decide who gets to marry. While you want to insult my intelligence about Project 2025, you're not fooling anyone. And what's happening across the United States right now is exactly what's inside Project 2025. Project 2025 is the white Christian nationalist playbook, and it is to turn us into a Christian fascist country. Unless we stop it this election cycle, we may never recover. But I have nothing to worry about, right? The think tank is just thinking about it. Stay awake, use your voice, and vote, and ignore people like this.